Hey guys, are the things that you're living for worth Christ dying for? Got a minute? I think sometimes because we are created beings, it's hard to actually envision something beyond this world. It's hard to get our brain to wrap around the idea of eternity, but this life is just a, a glimpse. It's just a vapor. And so we have to reframe in our brain what this life is about. Paul says, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. To live is Christ, which means that to live is to be Christ here on earth. So the name Christian means little Christ which started as an insult, but now would somebody look at you and say, yeah, you're like Christ. Our life is meant to give God glory. God died for it, and he wants you to co-labor with him. We need to be able to turn our attention towards God in everything that we do. That doesn't mean we all need to be preachers or evangelists. That means that we need to live our life for God. What does that look like for you? Would somebody look at your life and say, yes, he is giving glory to God because he gave his life for you to have it and to have it more abundantly. So we need to adjust our thinking past the end of your life here on earth and start to think in a eternity mindset, which means what you do now is going to affect all of eternity. So I implore you to live a life worthy of the call. Thanks for spending a minute.